Today's video about some combination of uh, synostatics with spices. Uh, spices, uh, you, you know that it is bio enhancers, and uh, so uh, and um, then the idea is to use some combinations as synolytics to get rejuvenation actually for peanuts. This is the full, full idea that, in technically speaking, we probably if we invest some money, some efforts and time in it, uh, this direction, probably we can get rejuvenation relatively easy and relatively cheap with the use of natural components, natural products. Okay, then again, uh, please download the, the presentation. You will have some links and it's more easy to work with it. So you can click, click on link and open the present uh, some video or uh, the publication. And then also there will be text with links and there will be sound. Okay, then again, what is the situation? I, about a year ago, a little bit more, I started this, my rejuvenation problem, program, and then I have decided to live long. <laughs> and then I have been trying to figure out what I have to do in order to get the energy and motivation that I used to enjoy at the age of 30 or 40. Extending life expectancy does not make any sense uh, without returning to the level of health and energy that, uh, that we had uh, in age like 30 or 40. This was the best age for, for a man and uh, for girls maybe earlier, but, uh, but again, it's, I don't want to extend suffering. I want to enjoy life. I want to be productive and energetic, so I want to get rejuvenation and not only life extension. So, what, what I checked, so I started to work, I started to, to learn biology and medicine, and uh, what I discovered that for more than 20 years of intensive research, science has given us practically only one re reliable result of rejuvenation, maybe one or two, but it is again, uh, the, even this result was only nine persons were involved in the, in the test, and uh, so the, the test involved a high uh, uh, no, human growth hormone and injections, everyday injections, and also supplements with DHEA and metformin, as well as some other dietary supplements like zinc, psyllium, and uh, vitamin B3, and uh, you can watch my old video to, uh, on, on it. And also, a single intake of synalytics uh, can, be, uh, can also be considered as a positive result, which give an increase in endurance and rise in metabolic, metabolic rate and associated improvement in mood, but such an effect limited in time. So maybe uh, intermittent uh, use of the synalytics will, will be more successful now as uh, clinical studies are going. And also, uh, I tried on myself, uh, and I, told, I tell you that yes, the use of synalytics uh, give quite a boost of energy, and uh, maybe uh, intermittent fasting, intermittent pardon, the using of these synalytics will give, uh, so can, can be used. But for, for now, I'm a little bit afraid of uh, side effects, and um, I hesitate a little bit. But I just to find, want to, to find something with. With, uh, with fewer uh, adverse effects and uh, to maybe cheaper and okay. But, <clears throat> but again, uh, in my clinic, they, they do clinical trials on intermittent uh, use of synalytics. For example, periodic repetition of the, cult, uh, of the cycle, like two days uh, supplement, two days intake of this medicine and then two weeks without them and again repetition but the clinical studies are not completed and we don't know results yet so it is not recommended yet to use this interval inter intermittent uh, use and again uh, why uh, why this uh, my the Maya, uh, clinics do it because selective removal of senescent or zombie cells has already been proposed as a treatment of uh, chronic diseases associated with senile degeneration of the body as well as uh, to reduce the side effects uh, caused by ca cancer chemotherapy and radiation chemotherapy therapy when cancer cells are converted into zombie cells. According to testimony of uh, those scientists uh, who are involved in this direction of research, thousands of chemical components uh, or, and, uh, and their various com uh, combinations have been already proposed uh, that potentially, potentially capable of, of destroying uh, the, the, uh, zombie cells selectively 
and uh, this is uh, probably they have properties of Synalytics. However, from the publications with free access to public, uh, we know only few of these drugs. We are also aware of many other drugs which reduce activity of zombie cells in the production pro-inflammatory signal molecules, which is SASP. That is, they have properties of xenostatics or xenomorphic. Xenomorphics. It is also known that many traditional spices are bioenhancers or adjuvants. Uh, that, that is, they can increase bioavailability and efficiency, effectiveness of drugs, vitamins, nutrients, and toxins. And I believe, this is my idea, I believe that uh, the, uh, some uh, synostatics, not all, but some synostatics can be combined with bioenhancers. And then we can get uh, the, the, the same effect as synolytics uh, in destroying of zombie cells. So, and probably, and let's, let's go, I give many details because I always go very deep It is research, I try to understand, I try to read all the publications and I think, so this is quite an uh, extended uh, video, sorry, uh, but this is my way to work, to make science. And um, as I already pointed out in my, in my video, that it is possible that aging is primarily uh, due to an increase in stiffness of the extracellular matrix in tissues. So it is again another idea, we discussed it already. That is the destruction of uh, uh, what is happening, destruction of elastin fibers, replacing them with collagen fibers and cross-linking of collagen fibers by sugar molecules. The increase in extracellular matrix stiffness uh, causes the transition of healthy cells to the zombie state as a result of the body attempt to limit the production of collagen by fibroblast cells because it, it's all connected. Yeah, let's go, let's go it into this mechanism. So externally, aging manifests itself as thinning of the skin, appearance uh, of wrinkles and sagging skin on the neck and face, but aging uh, more dangerous and aging is uh, also manifests itself in the decrease of elasticity of blood vessels, which leads to increase in blood pressure. And ultimately calcium is deposited uh, in the artery, arteries and aorta walls due to the fact that stem cells and progenitor cells uh, that uh, uh, they perceive rigid extracellular matrix as bone tissue because they don't have eyes and they don't, they don't understand where they, if they see uh, extracellular matrix is very so solid, very rigid, they think, oh, this is bone tissue. And they get transformed into bone cells. And these bone cells, they accumulate calcium phosphate. And such a degeneration of extracellular matrix reduce uh, a life expectancy of people. It is quite natural, this process. And again, you have to consider all in, in, in the process, in steps. Inflammation of the tissues attracts macrophages, uh, that, uh, which should destroy the zombie cells, but due to the depletion of our immune system, because it is busy with uh, chronic inflammation, and also the very high stiffness of the extracellular matrix, the number of zombie cells increases. So macrophages uh, have to come and to kill zombie cells. But if the, this extracellular matrix have very rigid, very solid the fibers of um, uh, collagen, then the, the macrophages cannot go through. They are not elastic. If it would be more fibers of elastin, they can go through because it's uh, like rubber belts. Rubber belts. And, but it is just solid and cannot go, cannot come to, to the zombie cell and kill, kill it. Then the number of zombie cells increases. And then what is uh, happening? It's, um, uh, the information is, level of information is going. So zombie cells actually, they play important role in wound he uh, healing process. Because to heal wounds, fever blasts produce collagen fibers which lead to local increase in stiffness of the extracellular matrix into the transition of some healthy cells to the zombie state. So what is happening? Then we have mast cells. So so-called so mast cells, they, they, they have sensitive, they, they sensor that uh, the tissue was damaged and they produce uh, signal molecules. And as a reaction to these signal molecules, fibroblasts start to produce collagen. So this, we go in steps. Yeah? 
first uh, cut, uh, the, you, you have damage of the skin, then uh, the, uh, the uh, fibroblasts start to produce collagen, and then uh, if there are more fibers, then it leads to vocal increase in the stiffness of the extracellular matrix. And then next regulation is coming, because uh, we have to limit it. The, then some uh, healthy cells, uh, they get it, uh, transferred, uh, they, 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 there is a transition of some healthy cells to zombie state. Yeah, because collagen we need uh, to close the wound, but excess of collagen production will lead to scarring and reduce tissue elasticity. So zombie cells inhibit fibroblast activity and they produce uh, pro-inflammatory cytokines which cause duration of the capillaries and increase of the delivery of oxygen, amino acids and glucose to the inflamed tissue, tissue area. But also they attract uh, macrophages because uh, uh, macrophages sh sh should make a next stage. Next stage, uh, zombie cells, uh, so, so what is happening? And again, zombie cells, they not only reduce activity of fibroblasts, but also some, they destroy them in an act of cannibalism, similar to the behavior of cancer cells. And macrophages are essential, essential to complete and to, uh, to complete the wound healing process because they destroy the zombie cells and they reduce tissue inflammation because zombie cells not anymore produce these pro-inflammatory uh, cytokines and other uh, signal molecules. Okay, but with age, the overall stiffness of extracellular matrix is increase, increasing, and therefore mobility of macrophages and stem cells to move in, the, in this matrix is decreases. This leads to uncontrolled increase in number of zombie cells because macrophages can, cannot kill them, cannot destroy them, and it leads to tissue fibrosis and ultimately to the death of all the organism. Tissue fi fibrosis impairs the ability of stem cells and progenitor cells to regenerate tissues. In chronic uh, t uh, kidney disease in particular, fibrosis, is an increasing uh, uh, public health burden, especially in the elderly people. With an increase in the number of zombie cells, the level of toxic pro-inflammatory signal molecules, S -E -S -A -S -P, in the blood increases, and then what is happening, all the body getting uh, that's, uh, poisoned with these um, molecules. Metabolic rate is dropping, level of energy, energy production in mitochondria decrease, Cognitive abilities decrease and send out the generation of the body occurs. So we're aging. We're aging as a result of this. So as I shown in recent publication, you can click on it to open the article. And uh, they're reducing excessive uh, senescent cells by synalytics as well as reducing the level of pro-inflammatory cytokines. And uh, with uh, so-called uh, senostatic drugs, can reduce uh, kidney damage and provide anti-aging effect. So you see, it's we just sto have to stop this uh, uh, multiplying of uh, process of multiplying of zombie cells. It also ha helps to stop uh, the development of the fibrosis. So I believe that increasing in the extracellular matrix stiffness can not only be slowed down, but also can be review reversed. And how it can be reversed? By taking some extracts of certain sp spices and additives of such substances that initiate the production of elastin fibers in tissues. Watch my vi previous video. As well as enzymes. Enzymes, some enzymes can be, are so potent that can break down uh, lipoproteins and collagen fibers. In guts of some uh, fish and uh, some uh, yeah, insects, there are some bacteria that produce so strong, so, so potent enzymes that, that it can destroy the uh, collagen. But we cannot just without control to put uh, these enzymes to our body because we have uh, collagen everywhere. We have, we have to focus the use of this uh, uh, enzyme where it should should go, where it should go, how it and how we can do, how it, it happens. Well, uh, the enzymes are penetrate uh, from intestine to uh, through the epithelial layer into the uh, lysosomes of macrophages, because it's normal. Macrophages are uh, from the inside uh, of the, of the wall of the uh, epithelial layer, and if this uh, enzyme is coming through, uh, and then macrophages 
suck, is uh, getting it inside and where it goes, it goes to uh, digestion organ. Digestion organs is lysosome of the macrophages. And then this lysosome gets this very potent enzyme. And then uh, ma ma macrophages may migrate into inflamed tissues from, from our gut area. They migrate everywhere because they just, they do it slowly, but they move in, they're, not, 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 they're migrating cells. So they, when they migrate to inflamed uh, tissues, and these tissues are inflamed because of this uh, stiffness of the extracellular matrix, what is happening? Macrophages uh, cannot go through, and, but they just like cut the, this collagen fibers, cut to get through, and then stiffness drops. So you see, macrophages can focus this, uh, this uh, enzyme precisely where, where it should be. They can reduce uh, stiffness of the extracellular matrix. So this is how it works. And uh, uh, also it, it, it also suppresses the development of the atherosclerosis. Because, uh, just watch my previous video, I was uh, describing it and uh, gave, gave this idea that um, why we have atherosclerosis? Because of our accumulation of this lipoproteins and lipo, uh, fus, so called lipofusin and lipoproteins, uh, which cannot be digested by our uh, ferments, uh, by our uh, enzymes, which we already have in macrophages. But if macrophages are getting more potent uh, enzyme, then they can cut this lipofusin to pieces and uh, then consume it and uh, to use it as, this, as nutrients for uh, growing uh, to other cells for energy and for, to grow. And then, then this, this can reduce the, the development of atherosclerosis on, or even heal it. And what is happening? The walls of the blood vessels are, uh, if, if it will not happen, it is getting sick. Yes? And also in, uh, stiffness is increasing. And what is result, then, then, then uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I, I just confused a little bit. So if uh, walls uh, are getting thicker and uh, stiffness is increasing, then blood pressure go up, not down, go up, yes? And, uh, but if uh, macrophages are doing uh, the job well, then the thickness of the, uh, the, of the walls is decreasing, elasticity is decreasing, then uh, blood pressure will go down, and uh, then uh, also it, eventually it will uh, go to appearance of, and the elasticity of the skin, but it will take just longer. And what, what I did, I do it to myself, it is not just, not, not just a day, it works. It works, I, I take some uh, uh, tincture of these enzymes and uh, I drink it every day, consume it, and I believe that this is the main uh, reason why I have my blood pressure quite good, uh, 100 to 60, and uh, beat rate is slow, and uh, yeah, it's good, it's good. And uh, other enzymes, we can find other enzymes which are also very potent. So, Let's see, let's see how my skin will work. So, uh, yeah, there is some improvement, but not much. Also, yeah, but again, we have to use this analytics to kill excessive zombie cells. And uh, additionally, as I already indicated in my videos, a decrease in the level of pro-inflammatory signal molecules and toxins uh, can be achieved. It gives an increase in endurance and level of energy production in mitochondria, and this is a feeling of power and strength and some uh, young uh, that feeling that you are getting young. Unfortunately, it is not, it is not lasting long, but yet uh, there is such uh, <coughs> such action. Another unpleasant aspect of aging of uh, aging uh, is an increasing stiffness uh, and increasing uh, some uh, stiffness and it is decrease in the production of hormones melatonin testosterone and growth hormone because <coughs> testosterone is producing testiles okay and then <coughs> what is happening uh, we are losing uh, uh, stem cells are, uh, cannot uh, work properly if it is stiff uh, very stiff extracellular matrix, but again, we will make it a little bit more elastic, 
Then we rejuvenate, rejuvenate these organs, and we will get uh, growth hormone and testosterone uh, to normal levels. I believe so, it, it should work. It is possible that, again, uh, what we should do, the intermittent use of senolytics and reduction of the in the number of zombie cells, also maybe it may work, uh, it, it may uh, contribute to, to a decrease in the stiffness of extracellular matrix, and this should be manifested in also in extracellular rejuvenation, especially if you use some um, cream or uh, washing to your skin, and again, it is not only uh, drinking, but uh, oral uh, taking, but also to skin. And some biohackers, they, uh, some uh, crazy people, they noted the effect of improving appearance and the high uh, endurance uh, with senolytics. And meanwhile, research, but what, uh, what is, is, is the problem? The research efforts are mostly focused on the development of expensive senolytic drugs and to get profit from their cells. At the same time, it is important for some biohackers like myself, not, not uh, rich, to fight inexpensive and efficient and effective senolytics. So what I want to do, and this is the idea that probably we can make it for peanuts, the senolytics. The senolytics which will bring us um, uh, health and, uh, and strength for peanuts, for, for very low price. This, this is the idea, but such uh, research cannot be supported by, by a big pharma or I don't know, this, because how to get the money back? It can be supported only by crowdfunding, probably, or some donations. So it's a big, pro big problem because any research needs money. Any, any activity uh, needs money. Okay, again, what is uh, that? There are different synalytics to destroy zombie cells in different uh, tissues. And there, so some synalytics work for one organ, for one tissue, uh, don't work for, for another but not, not for all, uh, all organisms, there is no universal uh, means uh, better to work with macrophages, better to activate our immune system to, to kill the uh, zombie cells. And how to do it, we also have to think. And the most investigated is the combination of dazatinib and quercetin, you can read the publication, and there are also clinical trials of this drug, drug combination currently on the way and on the way and uh, this intermittent intermittent uh, intermittent uh, uh, protocol and maybe good results okay we, we don't know yet and uh, because dazatinib destroys zombie cells in adipose tissue and uh, uh, probably physitin works but I, I'm just surprised how how it is possible because quercetin is not senolytic it does not it has no selectivity to kill zombie cells and physitin and quercetin uh, quite similar uh, chemical composition. Why physitin work as senolytic and quercetin not? I don't know. But uh, what also combination of physitin and dazatinib work as senolytic? Yes. And uh, what else? Piper, uh, piper uh, won gumin, gumine, piper won gumine, piper, piper won gumine. Such substances extract from uh, won paper. Please, I, I was doing already a such a video or, or about flavonoids, and you can watch it. And uh, there are also reports of biohackers uh, on the use of combination of physitin and quercetin. Yeah, well, and um, also you can check my video about senolytic and senostatics. Again, it is strange. It is again, uh, biohackers, they are crazy people. But uh, why they combine uh, physitin and quercetin? I don't know. I don't know. Is it no logic? No logic. They just try and uh, what is possible. Since cancer and zombie cells use glucose as a main source of energy and often due to the converting glucose into lactic acid, they, are, they have an increased level of reactive oxygen species in cells and also reduced level of antioxidant glutathione. glutathione. And the, then the search of synalytics uh, was carried uh, among anti-cancer drugs for chemotherapy. So because they are so similar, some, some anti-cancer uh, drugs can work for, for uh, synalytics. Dazatinib is one example of such anti-cancer drug with long list of side effects. And plus, the average uh, price uh, in, in the US uh, for, uh, for cancer treatment is 367 uh, American dollars per day very expensive. 
even even if it is threatening like two days and uh, two weeks uh, rest n with no taking it but it, it's quite expensive while cheap options for this drug uh, are available in Bangladesh and, and India most biohackers try to avoid such the setting too, too because a long list of the this adverse effects and also too expensive I have already noted uh, that some spices and dietary supplements have been shown to enhance the action of other drugs and please again uh, watch this uh, video on, on spices in particular quercetin quercetin in one of these enhancers but it, as, as, as we know it doesn't uh, exhibit synalytic properties it has no selectivity itself itself it can, cannot uh, selectively kill uh, zombie cells but in a combination does that mean you can quercetin quercetin how it works it works as bioenhancer it is uh, uh, improving efficiency of the desertinib. Desertinib is uh, synalytic. And then to, today again, I want to focus on the use of relatively cheap natural substances as synalytics. First, we, we, we can use it without any uh, FDA approval. And it is, uh, second, it is there uh, cheap, available, easy. So we can probably use some natural substances as synalytics, synostatics, and uh, bioenhancers. Okay. And Piper won gumin, Piper won gumin, Piper, Piper won gumin, and this is uh, another name is Pipevartine, Pipevartine is one of the few natural products that has ability to selectively kill zombie cells. And Piper won gumin found in the fruits and roots of Indian long paper. And long paper uh, fruits uh, contain one two percent of piperin. It is another uh, substance in. 3-5% uh, of piper gumin on dry metabolism. Not much, but it is the source. Yeah? The advantage of piper gumin is low toxicity and high oral bioavailability. So, so more than 75%. It is huge. It is huge. So in mice, the raw uh, oral lethal, lethal, lethal dose uh, is um, 115 mg per cure. So it is relatively uh, safe to take it. And piperin and piperongumine enhance the effect of my anti microbacteria micro microbial drugs and in particular antibiotics such as rifam rifampin and tetracycline, tetracycline uh, thus reducing the dose and side effects of the intake. So it can be expected that uh, the use of uh, piperin and piperongumine in combination with certain anti-cancer drugs like quercet like desertinib will improve in efficiency of killing zombie or senescent cells. So quercetin is bioenhancer, but so is uh, piper gumine. So we can there, there can be combination of piper gumine with desertinib. I believe it works better than fizetin. Um, and Papa Wong Gumain, uh, yes, this is this is a substance and uh, the, this long paper, work paper, work long paper, and uh, this black paper, and the chemical uh, composition a little bit different. And uh, they work as bioenhancers. These bioenhancers can increase bioavailability and efficiency of drugs, vitamins, nutrients, and toxins. Bioenhancers inc include uh, many traditional spices. It is not only this uh, pepper. It is so fruits of cumin, star anise, parsley, uh, cumin, cumin, cloves, anise, an anise, anise, black pepper, long pepper, cardamom, fennel, as well as garlic powder, turmeric, uh, and tubers and ginger. The amount of piperin in black pepper fruits uh, about two uh, to seven percent. Yeah, so it is a lot of piperin in black pepper, and pe uh, and this piperin, uh, pe paper, uh, pe piperin, piperin, uh, or piperin, you know, acts as bioavailability enhancer of vitamins, beta carotene, amino acids, minerals, and uh, flavonoids and flavonols, and uh, some antibiotics, and uh, what we also know, curcumin. Curcumin is active ingredient of turmeric to uh, tuber powder. It has very low bioavailability. Therefore, the mixture of ground black paper and turmeric is often used as a spice. And curcumin probably uh, has this 
uh, Synalytics uh, properties, but it has to be combined with uh, uh, maybe with uh, powder of ground uh, with ground uh, black pepper oh, or long pepper. Okay, ginger works synergistically with uh, piperine. Piperine. Okay, then again, the, you see the idea. So it it works. Quercetin is bioenhancer. But so the, this uh, piper longumine and piperin, it is also bioenhancers. So the fruits and roots of uh, long paper are widely used in uh, folk medicine for coughs and uh, bronchitis, asthma to reduce muscle pain, inflammation, a sedative for insomnia and epilepsy, as a tonic for and uh, hematopoietic <laughs> agent, pardon as a remedy for the formation of blood clots, as a cholesteric agent, as a means to induce in menstruation, contraceptive and abortive fairness, so it can produce abortion, and against uh, dysentery and leprosy, as a remedy against uh, tuberculosis, and uh, it, a, lot of, uh, a lot of use in folk medicine. And then fruits contain essential, essential oil, Resins, alkaloids with piper, uh, longumin and uh, piperin, and powdered fruits contain uh, some fatty acids and alcoholic extracts of dried fruits and uh, across these extracts of uh, leaves exhibit antibacterial and antifungal uh, activity. Children under the age of 15 were taken in the f uh, form of capsules. Uh, they were taken one, three capsules a day, so 350 milligram of this uh, powdered. Uh, long, long paper and was okay and uh, hum the, so one gram is okay and uh, hum and adults can use two gram with no side effects as medicine no problem as an anti-inflammatory agent uh, when used regularly piper long uh, can reduce the rate of accumulation of zombie cells this was demonstrated so it can work as senolytic yes so Look, look the presentation. Piper longumine uh, uh, was shown to improve cognitive performance when uh, taken orally to aged uh, mice, but quite a lot of uh, 50 mg per kilo per day, it's a lot. And suggesting that it can be a potential treatment for age-related cognitive impairment. The authors of uh, old publication November 16, uh, they discovered uh, that uh, this piper longumine is a patent analytic with a yeah, but, uh, also there are some combination and uh, products which are similar to Piper Longumine and they have some code name and uh, this also was a analytic, but uh, combination of them uh, is uh, much more se se uh, work with high se uh, selectivity. And uh, the same team made a publication in May 18 and uh, June 18 and uh, they descri described the uh, mechanism, how it works, why, how it kills uh, the senescent cells and how it uh, kills the cancer cells also. That you can read it, okay, it's interesting. Okay, wh what we know is that quercetin, quercetin is senostatic. It is not killing uh, zombie cells, but it, is, it inhibits some components of SASP and uh, then the uh, it, uh, result is uh, that uh, it, uh, concentration of NAD plus is coming up and this is uh, necessary to eff for efficient work of uh, sirtuins so that, um, but yeah, it doesn't work as uh, synalytic but it gives some energy, so quercetin is useful, uh, useful uh, di dietary uh, supplement and okay, the people try to use quercetin and physetin and with, paper, with this uh, powdered, uh, powdered uh, ground paper cup, uh, long paper, and they used it for six months and uh, they, they saw some rejuvenation. Interesting, yeah? So quercetin and physetin, they are, uh, again, physetin, I believe it, it works as synostatic, synamorphic. A substance, but not senolytic, okay? But anyway, quercetin is senostatic, but combined with uh, this uh, ground paper, ground paper, ground paper powder, then it gives, and taken six months, dosage I don't know, but uh, 
is unknown, but not much. It is f for sure less than 16 gram of uh, long pa uh, paper powder. Today, maybe a few grams, uh, two, more than two, less than 16 in such range. And it gave uh, some rejuvenation. Uh, rejuvenation is a uh, man was 59 years old and he got an, uh, some restoration of natural hair color. This is certainly some rejuvenation. And then uh, the required dose was uh, empirically selected. Uh, again, people, uh, biohackers are crazy, but problems they don't, don't disclose, don't disclose always the details. And you can try to go in the same direction, find a way what to do, but I don't know. Again, it's uh, not official uh, data, not recommendation for sure. And um, then there was also, uh, I mean, private message of biohackers that uh, about increased endurance and uh, decrease in fatigue after strength and aerobic exercise uh, while uh, taking uh, the desertinib and quercetin combination for two days and then I also confirm it, it works. I mean, I, I'm not about this combination, but just a synalytic gives such uh, uh, impact. It improves strength and, uh, and endurance. But if we take only quercetin or physetin, no, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, chronic inflammation in t of tissues provides a favorable, favorable uh, microenvironment for the development of cancerous uh, tumors. And since uh, piperongumine exhibits anti-inflammatory activity, this is also manifested in anti-tumor activity and shows the potential of using piperongumine as a drug to prevent cancer. So you can look at this publication. Why go again? Uh, it's quite, you see, it's very long presentation because this is how it works. I don't know the, how it should be. I just go into details, re read many publications, try to figure out what way to go. Then. Eventually, I, I made some short presentation for maybe for some potential investors where I describe it uh, with, with not many, not so many references and uh, but not like, like a review of uh, available literature, but just idea that we can do this or that and to expect such results or, or another. Okay, then again, uh, regular consumption of uh, Piper 1 Gumine is a promising method against colon cancer. It is, it is really uh, quite good uh, achievement. And also uh, it was this, uh, demonstrated how it works uh, through initiation of oxidative uh, stress uh, initiation. And um, then um, it is also a work for prostate cancer. So it is a really good anti-cancer drug. Uh, but again, uh, cancer and uh, zombie cells, they, they work quite similar. So it is no wonder that it works so. And the, this uh, study of Piper Wongumine uh, was summarized in some review publication recently, April 2000, uh, uh, April of this year. And uh, then it was big review. You can read it. It, is in, it improves immunity. It treats uh, cancerous tumors, it works with analytics, and uh, it's, uh, it prevents blood, uh, blood clots and anti-inflammatory agents, so very potent substance. <coughs> and uh, again, and, uh, they discussed mechanism, how it works, it's quite interesting also. And uh, pancreatic cancer is very deadly, uh, and, uh, but treatment uh, with Piper 1 gumine yeah, it kills uh, cancer cells in, in pancreas, so it is, it works quite good. It works quite very potent uh, substance again. But again, problem that uh, yes, if you want to include pipe, uh, this uh, powder of uh, or, uh, fruits of a long paper to the diet, you have to understand that a senolytic dose of piper longumine requires a large amount of piper of the paper, of the fruits. At the same time, uh, the isolation, isolating uh, piper longumine from fruit powder and uh, rather complicated because it has a lot of, so it has piper, piperin and piper longumine and uh, some, some fatty acids and that, so quite, quite many things. 
and <clears throat> uh, this is why uh, the papillomine is not sold as a dietary supplement. It's quite stu its separation is very complicated, and it should be very expensive. And uh, also, um, we had to use like 14 gram of papillomin. Yeah, from I don't know, we, we can uh, extract 14 gram of papillomin from uh, from half of kilo of dried uh, fruits of uh, long peppers. And the uh, toxic dose is very high, so you have to, it's like toxic dose is 300, uh, uh, almost 300 gram of dried peppers and dried fruits. It's a lot, you cannot eat so much. And in this case, a th therapeutic dose uh, uh, corresponds to dose about <coughs> 125 gram of uh, long paper. It's, it's yet, yet a lot, you cannot uh, use, you cannot eat more than like my, maybe. 10 gram, 16 gram, 16 gram certainly make a problem. So it's, uh, yeah, but then because problems with your guts will start. And, uh, but, but again, the other idea that to use this uh, ground paper powder is bio, to increase our bioavailability of other natural senolytics and senostatics. For example, berberine, quercetin, and physetin. It okay? <clears throat> because well, look, about visiting, low bioavailability and rapid elimination rates are the biggest problem for physiting as well as other flavonoids and bioavailability of physiting can, can be improved by some methods, uh, people think how to improve it, but they didn't try this uh, paper on my mind <clears throat> or uh, ground paper. paper. And uh, uh, so again, if you try uh, physetine, you can use 20 milligram per kilo, uh, two days in rows and uh, in one month again, uh, repeat, maybe it works, maybe it, it helps, but again, interesting to, to, to check, to combine uh, this uh, ground paper, paper, long paper and with uh, physetine probably. But more interesting, the bioavailability uh, bio bio of berberine extremely low. Only half percent of oral berberine is absorbed in, in the small intestine and only uh, 30, uh, 0 0.36% can enter the bloodstream. It's very low. And also in three year, in three hours, it just go, went out, go out. <coughs> so, and, uh, but berberine works. If you have uh, high doses of berberine, it extends the lifespan of animals or of mice. Will it work for humans? I don't know, but it, 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 it works as analytic. As analytic. So, but what again? Berberine is relatively cheap. If you combine uh, it with ground uh, paper powder, it will increase bioavailability. So, yeah, so it can be used. It can be used, I think. Okay, so piperine and uh, piper one gumine active substances in uh, black and one paper can increase the bioavailability of natural substances that are potential synalytics, namely physetin, quercetin, berberine, yeah? And then uh, it, uh, this uh, potential allows uh, to reduce the cost of treatment and to avoid side effects. So berberine is cheap, combined with ground pepper, also for peanuts, and you probably will get uh, some interesting uh, improvements in your health. Again, it is not advice and I just speculate what we can we do. And it is for, for also what is uh, uh, I discussed in previous uh, video about uh, dill seeds extract and synthesis of elastic fibers. Who knows? Maybe combination with this uh, uh, paper, paper with ground paper, it works even better. Or make extraction, extract with <coughs> of this uh, paper. I will try it. It's, I, I do it. I mean, I prepared the extract but didn't start to use it. But it's very interesting to apply to skin and to see the impact because again, if we consume it as a dietary supplement, it is one, one case, but to apply it to the skin, it is maybe more interesting. Well, it's again, so many combination and you can uh, do research, develop a recommendation to the composition of extracts and protocol. And uh, that is, uh, again, it's probably, probably uh, it is, you can get real rejuvenation, but Again, I, am, I work alone, I don't have any funds, my uh, savings already is in such situations that I cannot use them. Yeah, such personal problem. And uh, now, 
<laughs> now I'm quite limited in my uh, options. So, but I just want to mention some private message from a biohacker. They used uh, quercetin, physetin, and, and the powder of piper wongum, yeah, all these fruits, in three doses every seven, ten days. Again, uh, no details. It is, uh, don't know, three doses or three days, uh, every day one dose or, or three doses. Uh, so many times a day, I don't know, but uh, they said one dose is three gram of quercetin, half gram of physetin, and powder of uh, this uh, this <coughs> uh, long paper, 2.54 gram. There was no side effects, yeah, but no results, no results because because again, you looks uh, you 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 think uh, logically, quercetin is not senolytic. Why to, you, you know, it is synostatic. Okay, you combine it with paper. You probably will improve a little bit uh, these properties of uh, quercetin. But quercetin also has a quite good uh, bioavailability. Physetin not, but uh, quercetin is good. It's no problem with it, no problem. So why to combine it? I don't know, I don't know. But hackers, they're crazy people. Again, if it would be me, yeah, I, I am scientist. I can I can use my logic. I can think logically, and it is it would be much more logical to use a combination of berberin with uh, this uh, powder, because berberin has extremely low bioavailability, less than 0.36 percent of the oral uh, berberin injection in, 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 uh, digestion uh, ingestion uh, enters the bloodstream. So low, and half life for only three hours. <clears throat> And uh, maybe uh, combinations of like dill seeds and berberine treatment uh, together. And uh, so, but look, berberine treatment already was published that if you take small doses, 0.4 gram, three times a day for, for, for a month, and it proves uh, elasticity of uh, small arteries. So it works to improve elasticity of the extracellular matrix. So berberin has so many pot uh, so big potential to do rejuvenation, but it has very low bioavailability. Okay, berberin also works as anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, blood pressure lowering agent. Again, blood pressure because uh, stiffness of the uh, extracellular matrix is uh, can be re uh, get gets uh, uh, reduced probably. Again, you can read publication, not much data, but just thinking. Okay. Berberine inhibits uh, the, the growth of cancerous tumors and reduces the rate of aging. So it, it works as senolytic. Berberine increases the lifespan of uh, the mice. And you can read the publication. And uh, so it is senostatic at low doses and geroprotector at low doses. And it is senolytic at high doses. Yeah? Then safe, it, uh, safe uh, dose for humans, three gram of berberin per kilo of body weight. It's a lot, it's a lot, it is not very much toxic, okay? Even with this low uh, bioavailability, but if you even you increase it, it's not toxic substance. Okay, watch my uh, video on berberin. So I believe that taking berberin, which at low doses exhibit uh, geroprotective and uh, synostatic properties and at high doses synolytic synast uh, properties, if to, to use it together with bioenhancers, in, in particular this uh, ground uh, long paper fruits, okay, then it can enhance properties of berberin as synolytic. If it works so, then we are getting synolytic uh, from natural substances for peanuts. Okay, such uh, research can be supported, but not supported, okay. I don't know, again, I, I'm just my idea, I, I share this idea, uh, and uh, so if you want to support me, we can discuss, we can discuss what can we do, because I'm very limited in my funds. And again, uh, maybe other spices like dill uh, seed powder can be used uh, or to skin or to oral the ingestion. I don't know, but uh, will it work or not? But probably, probably so many directions to, 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 to use to, and uh, so many people can be involved in uh, these trials. And again, this is natural substances, not much toxic. Yeah, it is not anti-cancer uh, uh, medicine. 
it is it has not not ma not many uh, side effects not not any uh, not many adverse effects so it's relatively safe okay we have to sleep well and exercises for sure okay then i would do, i don't want to 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 discuss this because this just was some idea and better not follow it okay but again these peanuts in thailand i am now in thailand and then i buy uh, with delivery to my door uh, black paper long paper and deal seeds three kilo together because it's no no sense to buy less you pay for delivery compatible amount of money this 25 american dollars three kilo okay you can buy more but again it's enough enough because you don't need much of this powder yes and uh, uh, physitin uh, one kilo more expensive 83 berberin uh, 76 quercetin 100 uh, melatonin okay melatonin is just uh, I, I just got it, but one kilo <laughs> paid 75 American dollars. But okay, but you see, uh, berberine is not much expensive. You need it little. You need it maybe half gram a day, half gram a day in, in combination with this ground paper. And who knows what was? I, I will try. I will try to do. It. I, but I, I, I don't propose any protocol, and I not giving any advice. Just this uh, idea to to produce senolytic and to rejuvenate your body for peanuts it can be dangerous because senolytics uh, can be i don't know what, what. again and should be very very careful yeah but it is exciting and i take berberine and um, yeah it, i don't see any side effects it's it works the same like uh, like uh, this uh glucophag glucophag or Metformin, uh, it, it, it helps to reduce blood uh, glucose level and what else, and it's also antimicrobial, antifungal uh, substance. So it works good, but again, uh, maybe in combination, and especially to, if, if uh, to apply to skin, yeah, maybe taking berberine with this paper, with dill seeds extract. What to expect? I don't know, but quite exciting. And I see again, this research will not be supported by big pharma because these substances are for peanuts. And but maybe it can be supported with uh, crowdfunding again. So I don't know. Maybe I have to try to get some attention of people and to get uh, some support for this because it's quite exciting. It's again, this is what I like to make uh, substances for rejuvenation of your body to improve your health for peanuts that anybody even in developing countries uh, can use it yeah can improve health berberine take one capsule of berberine three three or five capsules of this uh, paper powder ground ground pulp paper go on go on so it's easy okay again uh, it is just for information i just try to share my ideas and uh, it's not not a recommendation in, anyhow i'm not getting any financial uh, benefits and or any financial support for this and um, yeah okay i'm i'm physicist <clears throat> i'm doctor in science but i'm physicist i'm not physis physician okay i'm not supposed to give you any any medical advice but i'm interested in my own rejuvenation yeah and uh, I, I see some biohackers are crazy and using this and that, but uh, they have no <laughs> logical thinking. I am a scientist, I can think logically. And the logically thinking, you can combine like berberine with very low bioavailability. Ber uh, you combine it with bioenhancer to improve bioavailability for peanuts. And then maybe you have, uh, can get some amazing results because berberine works to uh, reduce stiffness of the, of the um, extracellular matrix, to reduce sti to improve uh, if, uh, elasticity of uh, blood vessels. This is proven already. And also it works as senolytic. It also works as synostatic, gera protector, etc. 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 It's some universal drug which has probably a lot of benefits and it is cheap. It is very cheap and combine it with <laughs> this powder. Oh, I know, with something else, there are many spices which probably work the same. Okay, this is the idea, okay? This is the idea. And again, if it was patent enough, because every time 
uh, my presentation are very long. This is my way to work science. I go to the, I go deep. I'm not making presentation for you. It is I just I, I try to go. It, this is how I work. I make research. I make a review of the available uh, literature and I think and I try to combine this knowledge logically and come into ideas with, which probably, probably priceless, probably priceless. Yes, maybe save all the humanity. Yeah, or maybe they will put, <laughs> will kill me for, for these efforts because who is interested to save humanity? Okay, okay, have a good day. Ciao.